space. You're looking at hydrogen. Remember when we saw it? Mm -hmm. The lungs only have carbonic acid, but that carbonic acid yes. breaks down to hydrogen and bicarb. And bicarb. So and that's the kidneys. The, that's the kidney. So you mm -hmm. can either add or lose hydrogen, mm -hmm. or you can okay. add or add lose space. Like Do you see that? Why that equation is important? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. You guys can finish doing that, but what I want you to do is, is I want you to see some things now that, I don't know if they're on that test, um, but I want you to see a couple of things. Say I gave you this blood gap. Anybody want to be brave and take a shot at that one? Yeah, yeah let's do it ourselves. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Evelyn's got it. She's <laughs> matching right up there. She's got the prices right. Come on down. They're going to work on it. All right, so you do it in your head first. Oh, you do okay. it on the board without Maybe. saying it. Let Please, them do let it. me do it myself. She's just at the board. What's the last one, Evelyn? Evelyn, the O2 oh. is 40. 40. Okay. Okay, the key to this blood gas, now this is a Rumea blood gas, mm -hmm. okay? What you have to remember on Rumea, when you see something on Rumea, look at that PO2. It's very low. Now this isn't a compensated blood gas. This is not a CO2 retainer where you would expect it low, right? Mm -hmm. If I had a CO2, if I had a compensated blood gas, if this was this and this was high and this was high, then I know I've got a compensated blood gas, okay? Mm -hmm. But right now what I have is a venous blood gas because what we have to oh, remember right. is our venous values. We know that a normal PVO2 is 40. We know that a normal PVCO2 is 37, okay? So because of that, when you see something like this, you know that it's a venous blood gas. Now this could be 48 and this could be 39. You're in that ballpark range. So whenever you see a very low O2 and you don't have a compensated blood gas, look at your CO2 on Romare. What happened was, is remember in lab I told you, it's very hard to um, get it right in the artery, so sometimes you would have yeah. got the vein and it mm -hmm. didn't pump back. So here's a typical venous blood gas, and they'll always put that on there because they want to make sure that you know that's venous and you don't want to report this blood gas. So you do redraw? Perfect. You would right. Now, if they wanted you to report something, all you can report is the pH. Okay? That's all you can report is the venous pH. All right? So, would the pH be normal? Bicarb is normal. It should quit. Ding, ding. Not what's going to make you click? Those two things. So, whenever I say to you, Here's a Rumia blood gas, Rumea. and you've got this Rumea. low O2, and it's not a compensated COPD. Mm -hmm. Bing, 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 you've got a venous blood gas. Okay, okay. So you're okay. looking at the CO2 and the PAO2? Yep. Okay. Okay. Here's another one that I want you to look at. Again, here's a Rumia blood gas.
an impossible blood That's gas. Right, because on Romia, <laughs> remember your CO2, CO2 and O2 can only, can only add up to 140. Yes. Mm -hmm. So because this didn't, I either have a blood gas machine that's not calibrated correctly, and you need to do QC. Now, I know the Sinai people, Melissa did QC with you guys. We did yesterday. Yes, we did yesterday. So what she was doing was putting that file through to see if it comes in the parameters. If it didn't, then she's going to take the blood gas machine out of service and figure out what's the problem. Okay? So because these two add up to be 165, that's physiologically impossible. impossible. Because I know in the alveoli, my PO2 is 100 and my CO2, yeah, CO2 is, is 40. 40. Now they can go either way, but they can't add up to so 100. So it's going to be the same for this one, Martha? The first, the, the one we did? Um, it's a less than that. But the fact that these are venous blood gases. Blood gas, yeah. So before you start even interpreting, if it's Romia, now once you give an oxygen, you're in a new ballpark, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to teach you that ballpark in a second, okay? okay. Does everybody see the Romeo blood gases? Mm -hmm. Look at them, because they're looking for you to see that either there was there was probably a huge air bubble in this, is probably what happened. Okay. Martha, uh, the machine that we, we um, did the um, QC, on? QC on yesterday, the range, it's different, like for, for CO2. Yes. Is it normal? Because we know, we What's going to happen mm -hmm. is when you run QC, there are going to be three vials. So we run three different vials a day. So every eight hours, they run one. One's going to be acid, one's going to be normal, one's going to be alkalotic. So what happens is, is that each vial has a specific range for pH, CO2, and O2. So whatever one you're using, you're going to do that. Now, if we fix something on the machine, we have to run all three, and all three have to come in. If you run it and it doesn't come in the first time, it might be because in that vial is gas. If you don't shake it good, your QC might be off. So if you watch, she shaked it really good and then ran the blood gas. So if the first one doesn't come in, try a new vial, shake it. If it doesn't come in the second time, your machine is not in that service is because this QC is saying, these are known values, you're not getting those known values, take your machine out and figure out what's the problem. Okay. A lot of times, remember, you've got those four electrodes, right? Blood is a protein. Most of the time what happens is the blood gets stuck on a pro on an electrode, so here's my little electrode. All I need is a little bit of blood to get stuck there, and it's going to throw my electrode off. So we kind of rinse it a few times. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't work, maybe my electrode is old or the solution in there needs to be changed, but something saying, here's my electrode that determines my values. It's not coming in right now. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. Okay, good. So this one is no good. So now I'm gonna give you another one. Yeah. Now I'm gonna tell you that your patient is on 26% trach mask. Okay, you guys are all been to Sinai, you're walking around, you see those patients on the trach mask, they're on 26%. Dr. McCoy wants a blood gas. We draw the blood gas. Gas is impossible. Yeah, because when you add PCO2, it's going to be like. No, but they're on an FiO2 of 26. So that, that, that rule goes out the window. But the rule that comes into play now is, is the fact that once we give oxygen, the adding up to 140 is out the window. Oh, okay. But what comes into play is this equation, because this equation tells me when I give oxygen, it tells me what the maximum oxygen value can be. So if I did seven, so my equation is barometric pressure minus the pressure of water, 
yeah. times my FiO, I mean, yep, times my FiO2 minus my PaCO2 times 1.2. So let's do the normal values. So 713 times 0.26 minus 50 times 1.2. So you can do it whichever way you want. Ms. is going to do it. Okay, so if I do 713 times 0.26, mm -hmm. minus 50 times 0.26. 